right, solving quadratics using square roots part two. So this is part two of a three-part series on solving quadratics using square roots. Each video is going to show something a little bit different. So this is going to kind of continue off the ideas in part one. So we are still solving quadratics, but you're going to notice we're going to see it a little bit different style. Even though those styles different, we still want to work the order of operations backwards in order to try and get x by itself. So in our first problem, I have parentheses x plus 7 parentheses squared equals 16, still with the goal of trying to get x by itself. So I see a plus 7, which would be addition and subtraction, but if you notice, the plus 7 is inside parentheses. That should be the last thing we do is what's inside the parentheses. But outside the parentheses, I have this exponent. So on the side of x, I have a plus 7 and a square, but since the plus 7 is inside parentheses, we actually want to get rid of the square first. So what I'm going to do is to get rid of a square, we're going to square root both sides. Now when I do that, on the left side, the square and the square root inverse operations, those are gone, so we have x plus 7. I have the square root of 16, and which what we talked about in the previous video, I'm going to have plus or minus... 4. The square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. Now what we have here is very interesting because I have x plus 7 equals plus or minus 4. We actually have two problems here. I have x plus 7 is equal to positive 4, and I have x plus 7 is equal to negative 4. So since there's two scenarios here, I kind of want to split this up so I can see each of them, and they're going to give us different results. So I'm going to have x plus 7 equals positive 4, and x plus 7 equals negative 4. And I'm doing this so I can solve each of them individually and get my proper results. So if I want to keep working this left one, x plus 7 equals 4, we're going to subtract 7, subtract 7, and I get x equals negative 3, so there's one of my solutions. And then if I work the right side, I subtract 7 and subtract 7, and I'm going to get, well, negative 4 minus 7, that is negative 11. So I get my two solutions, x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 11. I like to split apart this plus or minus 4 because easy mistakes can be made if you don't do that. So we get our two solutions, negative 3 and negative 11. Get my two solutions. So I want to make it a little bit more complex. Uh, the second one, we have negative 2 outside parentheses multiplied by the parentheses x minus 3 inside squared equals negative 32. So again, want to work the order of operations backwards. I would want to get rid of addition and subtraction, but I can't touch this subtracting 3 because it's inside parentheses. So next, I would want to get rid of any multiplication division. So I did multiply here by negative 2. So what we're going to do to start this is let's divide by negative 2 on both sides. So if I do that, multiplying and divided by negative 2, that's going to be gone. We're going to have x minus 3 squared equals negative 32 divided by negative 2 is 16. And what we just did is we're kind of back to something a little bit familiar. We're back to the previous problem. So next, after multiplication division, I want to get rid of exponents. So I have this square here. So I'm going to square root both sides. And very similar to the last one, I guess I really like the number 16. Um, we're going to have x minus 3 equals, well, the square root of 16 is plus or minus 4. So here on out, I want to split it up. I want to deal with the x minus 3 equals positive 4, and I want to deal with the x minus 3 equals negative 4. So if I solve each of those from there, add 3 and add 3, I'm going to end up with x equals 7. And then if I add 3 and add 3, I get x equals negative 1. So there's my two solutions, and that is solving quadratics using square roots.